There's another kind of uh, normality problem, this problem which is actually in the book on page 557, it's number 47, it says, what volume of 0.172 normal sulfuric acid is required to neutralize 56.2 milliliters of 0.145 molarity sodium hydroxide. Now, the reason we choose to use normality is because it makes a problem like this much shorter and simpler. This is a kind of stoichiometry problem which would normally require us to write out a equation to get the mole ratios, but if we do everything in normality, we don't need to worry about mole ratios. They'll be taken care of for us. So what we have to do is make sure everything is in normality, and this problem is written with one of the quantities in normality and the other one in molarity, but it's going to turn out that that's not a big deal. You can see that we've got the sulfuric acid content is given in normality, the concentration is given in normality, but then this one is given in molarity for the sodium hydroxide. But that's no big deal because if we are going to change from uh, molarity to normality, remember that you just multiply the molarity times the number of hydroxides in the case of a base, so that is 1 OH, there is 1 OH. So when we take that and multiply 0.145 molarity times 1 OH ion, then that's going to tell us that we're going to have 0.145 normality NaOH just as easily. All right, and then if we have normalities, then we can use the simple relationship that the normality of the acid times the volume of the acid has to equal the normality of the base times the volume of the base. Those two are equal to each other because the normality makes sure that they're equal to each other. In this one, we are trying to find the volume of the acid. We're trying to find that. So let's do the uh, algebra here. The volume of the acid will therefore be the normality of the base times the volume of the base divided by the normality of the acid. And we can start plugging numbers in right here. We know the normality of the base. We just found it. It's 0.14. I'm sorry. It's 0.145. 1, 4, 5, normal, um, and that's times uh, the volume of the base. The volume of the base is 56.2 milliliters. We do not have to change that as long as we don't mind that the volume comes out in milliliters. So on the bottom goes the normality of the acid, which was 0.17172 normal. All right, if we check out the units here, we see that normalities just cancel out and we end up in milliliters, and when you do this math, you will find it comes out to be 47.4 milliliters, and that's milliliters of H2SO4. Let's put a box around that, and so we're done. So this is much shorter and simpler than a stoichiometry problem. It's pretty much a matter of plugging numbers straight into an equation.